I am alive and it is good to be alive. Today I am doing a quick review of the game Rift Breaker. This was recently added to Xbox Game Pass so I thought I would download it and try it out. It had some features that I thought looked interesting but then it uh, was also victim of certain features that I normally don't care for in a video game. One of those being that it is a top-down uh, styled shooter as you can see here. But that aside, to let you guys know, uh, this game is honestly fantastic. This is one of the best video games I have played in a while. No, I'm not, not saying this is going to stack up against your AAA shooters or your, you know, Battlefield 2042 or anything. So I'm just talking about how much fun I am having while playing this game. It has a very generous amount of content. Uh, it really hooks you in with the overall gameplay loop. Uh, the game has great variety in environments, enemy types, weaponry, character upgrades. Uh, honestly, you can see here you have uh, your loadout. You have different movement skills, appearances. You have item slots uh, for consumables uh, that regen over time. I have landmines. I have a burst heal. Um, I have a freaking... Look at this hammer. This is like one of my favorite weapons in the game right now. You just freaking slam the ground, destroying like everything. And look at the shockwave, how it like pushes the trees back and everything, even when it doesn't destroy them. And if you're wondering, yes, my hammer does set things on fire because that is a mod that I have equipped on it to deal fire damage over time. This game looks fantastic too. I'm really loving this trend with the next gen consoles where just because something's a top down shooter doesn't mean it has to look like hot dog doo doo. You know what I'm saying? That other game, The Ascent, is another great example of looking amazing but being. Uh, gameplay wise what I used to consider just really simple you know kind of like a side-scrolling platform where you think oh I'm not expecting much graphically here but the game is drop-dead gorgeous it features ray tracing as well uh, whenever there's nighttime in the game your mech has a flashlight and everything in the game every blade of grass every plant every structure casts a real-time shadow and looks just drop dead gorgeous even when you're shining your light through your fences here uh, the game features a ton of variety you can see here this is one of the many skill trees that you have every single one of these nodes will take you some work uh, to get to but they feature new buildings upgraded versions of buildings you already have and fret not you can simply upgrade the buildings you've already placed so that it's not a disaster you get a ton of variety in structures you can really play the way that you want a lot of strategy to be had here you have this next uh, research tab which is all your weapons your mech abilities melee weapons guns grenades etc and then if that wasn't enough, the game goes the extra mile with this alien research tech tree, which is a less direct method of upgrading than you would think. You essentially unlock these by either completing campaign missions or uh, reaching certain milestones through research, like if you've scanned certain enemies enough or killed them enough or uh, made other, you know, research based projects it, it's really cool so the game gives you not only a ton of base building options and structures tons of weaponry for your mech it also gives you this interesting sort of side objective that just gives you really cool functioning like a super coolant refinery uh, environmental shielding for heat a cryogenic atomizer i'm assuming that's like an ice flamethrower type thing there is a lot going on here, and it's not too terribly confusing. I think the game does a pretty good job of breaking it down. The only thing they could do a better job of is sometimes you'll unlock something new, and it won't be very clear how to utilize it. But unlocking things, for the most part, is pretty self-explanatory. The build menu is not a complaint I have. It's a little wonky at first just because we don't get a lot of games like this on, on console. But on Xbox at least you tap the Y button to enter the build menu and you can use the right joystick to move your placement pointer around or you can simply walk your character around and the placement pointer will stay uh, adjacent to you in the same position. Uh, this combine gives you pretty great maneuverability and room for freedom. 
You use the bumpers to tab between the different build types. You have your essentials, which is all your core base building materials. Uh, you have power, which has to do with providing power to your base. And you will be uh, pleasantly surprised to hear that there is a wide variety here. There's a lot of different ways that you can accomplish your goals in this game. You also have uh, your sort of refineries, your resource uh, storage containers to increase how much you can store. You can build storage containers so that your mech can hold more maximum amounts of ammo. You can build buildings that uh, craft ammo. It's, it's honestly insane. I'll go ahead and show you here. This is my base uh, that I have built on the map. Uh, this is all that I've explored, these sort of revealed areas that don't look like a grid. Uh, and it is big. This is, this is a very large map. You wouldn't think it looks large, but once you see how long it takes to really travel around, and maybe you saw a point of interest. We got some more ore here in the ground. Maybe you saw a point of interest, and you think the map is small until you have to travel back and forth but between that point of interest frequently, you realize how big this map is. And I'm getting swarmed by little hounds right now. And some not so little hounds. <laughs> Look at this hammer. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Um, it's just a very satisfying game to play. The combat feels great. Uh, the visuals are fantastic. You can see there's still pools of blood and carcasses here from the aliens that you've killed. And I have to be honest, I was already loving the game just in this first, uh, this first world here. I'll kind of show you. Uh, here's my base. It's almost in the middle of the map. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you while I talk and finish up this review uh, how big this game is. So uh, here's my base kind of over here, which I have expanded upon over time. You can even build flooring to make your base look nicer. You can build walls and gates. It's honestly very impressive. It's one of those games that I didn't know I wanted a game like this until I played it. It really succeeds in tossing up a bunch of different genres. You can see some of the lighting through the fence there I was talking about and all the plants. Oh, it just looks fantastic, especially on the Series X. Um, let me make my way, make my way downtown. Down, oh, that's copyright. I shouldn't do that. Yeah, this game, I'm having a ton of fun, and to be 100% honest with you guys, I've barely scratched the surface. I've found that you can go to this new menu here, called the Orbital Scanner, where you can visit other locations on the planet that are completely different biomes, completely different enemies, uh, environmental hazards, challenges, and honestly, the game does such a great job of balancing fun and good content with challenge and reward like there's nothing that happens in this game that screws you over too badly that you don't feel like you can recover my base has been struck with meteor storms uh lightning storms i've had power outages in the middle of an attack and nothing left me feeling that this game was unfair or just too punishing which is great I love games like this where it lets you have tons of freedom of how you want to build your base, but doesn't make it feel too tedious. The game does a great job of making everything automated and giving you plenty of tools at your disposal to accomplish whatever your vision or goals may be. And honestly, the end result of all of these mechanics coming together is an incredibly satisfying game. So you may be like me and maybe base building isn't your thing, Maybe top-down shooting isn't your thing. Maybe resource management isn't your thing. But the way this game blends all of those things together so well in such a fun way gives this game really high replay value. I personally love RTS strategy games and the base building that they have. And I can say that even though I've barely scratched the surface of this game, uh, once I beat it, I will probably be doing other playthroughs just for fun, just to try different strategies, different weapons, just to see what I can come up with, uh, to see what works well. My base is actually about to be under attack here, so this should be exciting. Let's build some defenses real quick, huh? Just to show you guys how that looks. Okay. It'll show you on the map, too, where the enemies are coming from, so it's very convenient. It's not confusing whatsoever. 
artillery turret here and some machine gun sentries that tree might be in my way though but let's build a rocket sentry too just because I feel like blowing them all up and I better run some power to it all real quick before my buildings get destroyed let me see if I can destroy this giant tree real quick can I? Ooh, this might be a non-destroyable... Ooh, it looks like it might be a resource that I haven't unlocked. Because you can normally destroy everything in the game, but not this. That's interesting. Oh, and supplying power around your base is very easy as well. They give you these little nodes you can place on the ground, and they show pre-drawn lines of where the power is going and how it's going to connect base to the rest of your attack. base. And it's very cheap. Where on earth is my base under attack? I don't see anything, to be honest. Something's getting destroyed. Hmm. I'm not really seeing anything, though. Couldn't possibly be talking about down here, could they? There is a breach in our walls. Breach in our walls? Well, that sounds terribly bad. An energy connector has been destroyed. Oh no! They're attacking my destroyed. base that I left all the a way out here. It was destroyed. a small mining outpost for Cobalt. Well, that is terribly unfortunate. Base Let's go see if we can't attack. salvage this situation. <laughs> oh man, Tower I saw destroyed. them coming from the bottom right destroyed. corner of the map and I totally forgot I had that l poor little mining outpost out there. Also, the game is really fun because you can equip up to three different weapons on each arm of your mech at a time, and you can use both simultaneously, and switching them is as easy as this. You can just switch them on the fly. I'm now using, uh, let's see if I can get my dual plasma guns here. Yeah, look at this. Actually, the left one is a shotgun I have, which is very fun. As you can see, game gives you plenty of tools at your disposal to face the alien threat how you wish and I've seen a lot of variety um, I don't really want to spoil anything too much but the other planets uh, the other sections of the planet look very cool and I really enjoyed how different they felt and how you just had a completely different vibe you could tell that surviving there was gonna be a beast all of itself oh no my factory Oh snap, dude, they are tearing that thing apart too. No mercy. Come at me, Luis. Oh my gosh, look at this. This being the starter planet, they mostly only throw like about a variety of three different enemies at you. Nothing too crazy. Um, but if you venture outside your base to the far off edges of the map, you will see boss enemies, you will see all kinds of nightmarish creatures that uh, you won't normally see if you're just defending your base. So this game actually gives you a reason to build a cool base too. As you can see, there are lots of hordes that you have to defend yourself from. And I can only assume this is going to get more and more challenging Wind as the game down. goes on. The uh, just dense. judging from a some of the art up. of one of the other levels, Carbon I noticed the hint of maybe some flying creatures. So I bet that's going to be great. Anyways, you guys should definitely check this out. I'm having such a fantastic time with it. Uh, it it's, it's just really one of the best games that I've played in a while, and it's some we good carefree fun. If you guys uh, do have Game Pass, you don't even have to buy it. Just download it, try it. It's not going to hurt you. If you're confused, you can come back here, and I'll give you any tips that I can down in the comments section. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you later. Peace out.